Good tune like that's Yola and Dancing Away in Tears. Quarter past four for your Friday afternoon. Uh, green and pleasant land is being ruined by fly tippers. Uh, there are increasing evidence that the, those who dump rubbish in the county are criminal gangs posing as legitimate companies. Today, new measures have been proposed to tackle so-called waste crimes. Yes, the Department for Environment, Food and Rural Affairs wants increased background checks on companies which move or trade waste, as well as mandatory digital tracking of rubbish across the UK. Martin Montague owns Clear Waste, an app where you can report fly tipping you see anywhere in the UK. Martin, let's uh, start with the uh, source of this. How serious a problem is, is fly tipping then? It's huge. There's over a million instances reported in the UK each year. And the government just put something out and it said that waste crime costs nearly a billion pounds a year. So that's a billion pounds out the NHS or that's a cut to our national insurance and it's massive. So is this problem getting worse then? And if so, why is it getting worse? It's definitely getting worse. Um, it's getting worse because a lot of people are making a lot of money um, with illegal waste and consumers are being victims to this. The first thing is that um, about 60% of the adverts classified ads don't in fact lead to a company or a person that's registered to remove waste in the first place. So that's one big thing. But consumers need to remember that under duty of care, they can be fined up to £5,000 each if they don't check that someone is officially licensed. So that's a really key point there. What's your personal experience of a fly tipping? I mean, living where you live, I mean, how Im- how impacted have you been by all this? Well, that's why I started uh, Clear Waste, was essentially my road gets shut two weeks a year because of fly tipping. I was a victim of fly tipping myself when I paid someone off of uh, Google to come and take some waste away, and then someone knocked on my door and said, do you realise all your personal letters are being blown across the road? It's an absolute crusade for me to try and sort this problem out. Um, it's, it's very dear to my heart. I mean, yesterday I was stood in a river completely full of asbestos. It's got oil poured in there. There's dead fish floating about. It's absolutely dreadful what this country is becoming. But I promise you and your listeners, anyone that uses the fly tipping app, I'm going to continue to lobby government for changes. and I'm going to fight for every consumer in the UK to get this problem sorted out because some common sense stuff would really fix it. And um, for example, if vans had their registration um, numbers on them to prove they were licensed, consumers could easily see that they were, you know, officially licensed, like a taxi and stuff like that. Um, and we can pick them up using AMPR. So that's one common sense approach. And another one is maybe ask the government to make it legal that anyone advertising waste removal has to put their registration number in the adverts because that will cut out 60% of the crooks. So what do you make of this digital tracking of rubbish then that the government is calling for? Do you think that will work? I think it's a really great idea. Um, But 63% of um, traders at the moment aren't on the register. So it's a really great idea for anyone who's legitimate. But it's not going to do anything until we can force these people to register and act as lawful businesses or force them out of business. And to do that, we need to focus on getting their advertising removed and we need to focus on consumer awareness. Yeah, so the public has to be aware, as you suggest, that, you know, if it's a really cheap deal to get rid of your rubbish, there's usually something slightly wrong with it. It's going perhaps not not the place that they are telling you it will go to. So uh, people should be beware then. Absolutely. And not only that, quite often these fly tippers aren't any cheaper than legitimate waste removal companies. Um, I spoke to a woman who got charged a small fortune for a load of stuff that then was refly tipped again, um, and she had to pay for it twice to get it moved. Um, so, if people are listening to us this afternoon, you've obviously said you know you want to you fight for every uh, consumer and, and listener. But if if people see rubbish being fly tipped, what's the best recommendations from you? What should people be doing? Okay, that's a good question. On the Clear Waste app, you can also upload evidence. So, if you've got dash cam footage photographs, uh, ring footage from your home, upload it, do a statement, and we will do our best to push it out to the appropriate people, either the councils or the environment agency, to see if we can get some action taken on those people. 
Um, again, that's the solution we've put there. And we've also got a licensed waste removal service with thousands of companies, good companies that are vetted properly, that will give you the best quotes to move your stuff. And you'll be protected um, from essentially fines and using rogue traders. Some very good points there, Martin. Uh, Martin Montague, an anti-fly tipping, well, he's self-described as vigilante. Um, He's obviously made it his uh, sort of life's work to ensure that fly tipping doesn't affect um, the country. But unfortunately, it does, as we've seen too clearly here in Cumbria. People still do it. Uh, Criminal gangs behind all this. Uh, Some more work from DEFRA needed. Uh, Background checks is what they're advocating. And Martin's clear waste is an app which you can report fly tipping on anywhere in the UK. So that's Clear Waste, an app which he's just launched.